This lecture introduces one of the most fundamental terms in mathematics, namely a statement. A statement is a sentence that is either true or false, but not ambiguous. For example, Stockholm is the capital of Sweden is a statement which happens to be true. Stockholm is the capital of Switzerland is a statement as well, but in this case a false statement. Another name for a statement is a proposition and we can use these names interchangeably. A sentence such as Pulp Fiction is a fantastic movie is not considered to be a statement. The sentence is too ambiguous. Some people will agree with this sentence and some people will not. We simply do not have an unambiguous definition of a fantastic movie. Most sentences don't even have any part to be evaluated as true or false, and so they are not statements. For example, hello there is a sentence which is not a statement. Here are some actual statements that make sense in mathematics. There are infinitely many prime numbers is a true statement. Square root of two is a rational number is a false statement. Every equation has at least one solution is another false statement. From statements, we move on to predicates. Consider the sentence X is greater than zero. In this sentence, X is called a free variable. If X takes on a particular value, say X equal to one, and we replace X with this value in our sentence, it reads one is greater than zero. This is a statement, specifically a true statement. However, whichever number X is replaced with, the sentence will become a statement. Sometimes a true statement, such as when X is replaced by the number one, and sometimes a false statement, such as when X is replaced by minus one. A sentence with one or more free variables, which becomes a statement when the free variables are replaced by specific values is called a predicate or an open statement. Here is another example. X squared equal to one is a predicate with the free variable X. Replacing X with any specific number will turn the predicate into a statement that we can evaluate as true or false. Any specific number that makes the statement true is called a solution to the equation. We can always turn a predicate into a statement by replacing the free variable with a specific value. However, we have two other ways of turning a predicate into a statement without replacing the free variable with a specific value. Consider again the predicate x squared equal to one. If I prepend this sentence with, there exists a real number x such that, it becomes, there exists a real number x such that x squared equal to one. When we say there exists, we always mean there is at least one. We do not mean that there exists only one. This is a true statement since there actually exists two real numbers, minus one and plus one, where x squared is equal to one. A second way we can turn a predicate into a statement without replacing the free variable with the specific value is to prepend the sentence with for every real number x. In this case, the predicate turns into the statement, for every real number x, x squared is equal to one. This is now a false statement. The existential quantifier, there exists, is so common in mathematics that there is a universally recognized symbol to represent it. And it's the backwards capital letter E. X is a real number, can also be abbreviated, we write X followed by this symbol, which means belongs to, followed by an R in blackboard bold, which means the real numbers. The statement, there exists a real number X such that X squared equal to one, can therefore be written as, there exists a real number X in R such that X squared is equal to one. 
The universal quantifier for all is also extremely common in mathematics. The symbol we use is the upside down capital letter A. The statement for all real numbers x, x squared is equal to 1 can be written as for all x in R, x squared is 1. 